All right, B, so I want to know if you lost it all today, meaning all four F-bombs that you always talk about, uh, what would you do in that moment? Like kind of what would your mindset be? What would be like the first thing that you would tackle first? You know, kind of what would you do? Good question. Good question. All right. So for those people who don't know what the F-bombs are at the project, we have the four F-bombs, which is faith, family, fitness, and finances. So in other words, if I lost all my faith in myself and faith in a higher power, I just lost all hope, right? Let's just say that's the F-bomb of faith. Uh, you know, fitness. If I got out of shape, all of a sudden maybe got injured and started eating like a pig, got out of shape, and then mentally, emotionally, and physically spiraled. So there's your fitness. Um, family. My family left me. Boom. Like they're gone, right? And then, of course, finances. And on their way out, they drained the bank account. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. I am now broke and destitute. And let's assume, let's get thrown a fifth F bomb, friends. So all the connections that I have now, let's assume those connections are gone too. So I don't know all of the people that I'm aligned with now. I don't know them. I don't know them. I'm just some guy who's broke. I've got the clothes on my back and that's it. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is go find water. Right? Right, right. The next thing I'm going to do is go find like, hey, can I have a sandwich or, or, you know, can I have the rest of that sandwich or whatever. But assuming I satisfy, you know, food and hydration just for that moment, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, all right, who immediately around me has a problem that I can solve in exchange for money, right? So I'm going to go to a gas station. Hey, can I pump your gas for three bucks, right? Maybe they say yes. Can I wash your windows while the gas is being pumped for the three bucks? I'm going to wash your windows, pump your gas. And oh, by the way, um, you know, drive the car to that little air thing and I'm gonna see if your car needs air. And if the tires need air, I'm gonna do that. Give me three bucks. Can I do enough of those to parlay enough money to have a little spending cash for the next day or two? Uh, while I'm doing that, I might go door to door and start knocking on doors in here in the community. Uh, Cause remember, I don't have a car, I don't have any connections. Start knocking on doors. Hey, can I mow your lawn? Um, I'll do it for half the price that your lawn guy does it. Okay, great. Oh, by the way, do you have a lawnmower so I, that I can use, right? If you have a lawnmower, I'm going to use your lawnmower. If you don't, sorry, I can't mow your lawn for half price because I don't have a lawnmower. So on to the next door. I'm going to be knocking on doors like no one's business. While I'm doing that, I'm going to find a way to be able to you know, put that money together. So I'm going to live under a bridge or whatever I need to do. It's Southern California anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to do whatever I can to get myself on an, an iPhone or some kind of device that I can connect to the interwebs with a screen. Because once I can do that, I'm creating a social media account because I'm, I'm doing a little survey of what are the strengths that I have because, all right, great, I'm washing w car windows, I'm filling up gas, I'm you know filling up tires and mowing lawns here in this little town of Chino Hills. That's great. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to become the millionaire to gain everything back. If I want to become this millionaire that I once was, I need to now have access to the world. Right. I need to get my hands on the device as quickly as I can. And I don't care if it's the iPhone 1, as long as it can connect to the internet and has a screen, I'm golden. I'm going to create an Instagram account if I can make videos, and I'm going to do a, a survey of what are the skills that I have that I could offer out there as a service in exchange for money. So I know that PayPal, they'll take 3% and they'll give me the rest of the money. Mm -hmm. So PayPal will be my shopping cart. I'll go to wordpress.com and create a cheap little website for free. WordPress is free. I can go to WordPress and do that. I can make some selfie videos talking about what I'm good at. Hey, I'm good at personal training. I'm good at developing a nutrition program. I am i can't say business coaching because in that moment, <laughs> I'm not a great right, business right. coach because I've lost it all. No one's going <laughs> to do that, right? But hey, if I can get, start getting fit again and you know, personal trainer, nutrition coaching, whatever, uh, copywriting. Hey, I'm a great copywriter. So if you need copy written for a post, an ad, a website, tell me what the copy is. Let's get on the phone. Give me uh, $1,500. I'm, I'm going to write the copy. And if it doesn't convert by, to at least 1.5%, then I will keep rewriting the copy until it converts. I'm going to make like ridiculous offers, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to reach out to as many people on social media as possible, businesses worldwide, nationwide, and be like, I'll write copy for $1,500 and I'll keep tweaking it until it converts at 1.5% in terms of cold traffic. Mm -hmm. So now I'm getting 1,500, 1,500, 1,500, getting back on my feet. And then now I'm starting to compound that. Mm -hmm. And so from the, the compound factor is now can I hire junior copywriters to write for $400 while I'm charging $1,500 and I'm keeping the difference, right. right? So now I can have, instead of me writing copy, now I'm delegating to others. So all of a sudden I'm going from looking down and in to looking up and out, and now I'm leading a little team of copy, copy cubs, right? And they're charging me $400 to write a copy. I'm charging this guy $1,500. I, I might have 20 people charging them $1,500 to write copy. My job is just to go get the deals and then give the copy cubs 
the copy to write and then just to keep negotiating. Then I might say, hey, guess what? We wrote your copy, but do you need someone to run traffic? At this point now, I might go find someone who's good at buying traffic, but they don't know how to sell and market. I'm going to teach, uh, I'm going to be like, hey, man, now pay another $1,500 or $2,000 a month and we'll run Facebook and Instagram traffic for you to that page that we wrote copy for, right? So now I've got a ad agency. I pretty much built out an ad agency. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Copy, ads, and now I'm starting to scale and I'm asking for referrals. If I do my job right, will you give me referrals? Yes, I will. Great, fantastic. Hey, listen, why don't you pay me in full for a year? I'll give you a discount of $300 per month. Now they pay me in full, I got big chunks of money coming in. Now I'm going, all right, what else can I do? Now do I need to get a little office somewhere or whatever? Now I can use that big chunk of money or how about a car or mm -hmm. how about a place to live, right? right. Yeah. And so that's literally how it would go. And I think it would probably take me like no shit. And it would take me probably about 90 days to start producing about twenty twenty five thousand dollars a month <laughs> that's crazy yeah like no shit and no, i believe you and of that twenty twenty five thousand dollars a month because it's a service i'm paying my copy cubs i'm paying my traffic guy of that twenty twenty five thousand dollars a month i'd probably keep about 15 mm -hmm. 12 to fifteen thousand dollars a month which already gives me a six-figure salary and Wild. what's up? Getting myself in a nice little apartment, little bachelor pad. Exactly. Hey guys, quick interruption to the Bedros Coolian show. I want to tell you about the newly reformulated Truly Wellness Shot. Now I wanted to create a supplement that was zero compromise, that would boost your immune system, fight off inflammation in your gut, joint, and body so that you can keep getting after your goals and dreams in life. And now the new reformulated Truly Wellness Shot is boosted with electrolytes to help keep you hydrated as well. Truly Wellness Shots are packed with these amazing ingredients vitamin C, vitamin D, B12, zinc, turmeric, echinacea, ginger, astragalus, and now with electrolytes to help keep you hydrated. And if you're anything like me, then you're going to want to get these Truly Wellness Shots because you want to stay healthy, hydrated, and inflammation-free so that you can keep chasing your goals and dreams in life. Now, just like the godfather Don Corleone, I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. When you go to Truly.com and use my name, Bedros, during checkout and you join the Truly Tribe Subscription Club, you will not only get 50% off your 30-day supply, but you also get free shipping and it comes with a 30-day unconditional money back guarantee so for any reason you don't like the truly wellness shots and we have yet to meet anyone who doesn't like these awesome products then just let us know and we'll give you a full refund and part ways as friend go to truly.com check out the wellness shot use my name bedros and get 50 percent off when you join the truly tribe you get free shipping 30-day money back guarantee and i promise you you're going to love this product and you're going to tell all your friends about it now back to the show you literally just i mean people probably write notes down as you were saying the whole thing like you actually were like painting a picture I was literally watching a movie as you were explaining it yeah. how you would go from this to this step to this step it's funny you say that because I saw myself at the mobile right here on the corner where yeah, Albertsons yeah, yeah. is yeah. I saw myself there you pictured it because there's an Albertsons right right in that shopping center right. a mobile and they got the convenience store mm -hmm. I got food I got restroom I'm fucking there like the first week right that's my fucking home right. i got food water restroom gas station i'm serving people it's a done deal and i got charisma man I, you're gonna pay me three bucks i'm gonna pump your gas wash your fucking windows i'll shake out the fucking mats and fill up the tires yeah all day long <laughs> women are gonna want to take me home after that so you 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 basically mapped out how you would do it how you get back on your feet you'd make more money how you yeah. can get a car and a place to live and everything but what about um emotionally like and mentally how would you be able to handle that as far as like is it just taking action is going to pull you out of that you think or how would you deal with that mentally emotionally the fact that you went from making millions upon millions a year and losing everything family friends everything just like how would that affect you and what would you do there i would definitely be in hard times right i'm guessing you know let, let's remember one of the f-bombs is fitness so let's say i lost my mental emotional and physical fitness so i let myself go maybe i gained 10 15 20 pounds of fat um and was sat and depressed and was in a place. So at some point, everyone hits a rock bottom and they're like, all right, time to stop feeling sorry for myself and time to start doing shit. And so I would literally then, because I'd have access eventually, right, to a phone, mm -hmm. I, would, I would literally start accessing self-help videos on YouTube. Like, again, all the things that I already know, Napoleon Hill, fucking Goggins, Jocko, whoever, right? Because assume my shit's not on there because I'm no, like even my so, fucking yeah. YouTube got wiped out, right? Yeah. And so I'm gonna access self-help stuff for motivation, inspiration, 
because discipline isn't solidified yet because I'm still in a fucked up mental headspace. I lost it all, friends, family, connections, money, network. And so I need every day, I need a hit of dopamine, of motivation and inspiration to keep going, and I will. I'll start doing pull-ups and push-ups at the local park where they have the bar here. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're all gonna hit rock bottom at some point, and when we hit rock bottom in a scenario like that, and I, first of all, I don't know if that's ever happened to anyone where you lose it all, money included, friends, et cetera. But if, if you do, that's how you get back from it. But you have to hit rock bottom where you go, enough is enough. I gotta start doing something about this fucking man, right? And so, but but mentally, I would, I would feed myself, feed my brain information put out by people who are good at motivating and inspiring that's available on YouTube for free until I started gaining momentum. And that's mm -hmm. what we want. We want momentum. Once we have momentum, the inertia takes over. Man, I've lost five pounds now. All right, the arms are getting bigger. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm starting to make some money. I hired my first copy cub. All right, I got momentum. I don't need self-help anymore because I've got that shit in my head. It's like the personal trainer who lets himself go and has to hire a personal trainer to get back in shape. He right. knows the information, he's just too far gone and he can't see the path. So he needs to hire a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Once I start getting the momentum and then the inertia kicks in, I'm good. Yeah. I got all the information here. I'm guessing I haven't lost the years of knowledge in terms of self growth, personal development, mm -hmm. et cetera. It's just been fucking muted because I've been feeling so sad and horrible about myself. Right. But once I get momentum, the inertia kicks in, man, that thing starts kicking back in and I'm unstoppable.